on the throne. I say, Queen, with a maid servant, and I woke up. My daughter, you have a very big heart, like your father. He always dreamed where he was a king until his sudden death. You are dreaming big. You are not of the pedigree of the king. Your father died with the same dream. Now, let me tell you a story. Your father had vast lots of farmland he bought. Because he was the biggest farmer this village ever played. When he sold those farm produce, he used the money to purchase lands in order to save his money. But Mama, why did you lose all the plots of land? And we are here, in another town, without even a plot of land. We cultivated here in my father's land. And your uncle, Udenze, who was a great native doctor, he accused me of killing my husband because he was too influential and people fear him. It was a long story and painful. Whenever I remember what I went through, I shed tears. Mama, it's okay. Stop crying. Stop crying. I'll cry too. Just remember that our chill is. It's okay. Stop crying. I reason with you, my daughter. Your words bring comfort to my soul. Okay, now can you can you continue? If you insist. I insist. As I was saying, after your father's death. Now listen. After consultations with the gods concerning my brother's death, the oracle revealed to me that you, wicked woman, killed my brother. Mbeke. After the findings as regards to your husband's death, the Igwe ordered us to banish out of this land forever. Bam! Nay. Okay, okay. My husband, people. I did not kill my husband. I cannot do such a thing. You can wash the cups and give me the water to drink to prove my innocence. Please grant me a fair trial to see the king. Is it going My check you I said no. Personally, I said no. I know your type. You are a witch. Now listen and listen good. If after an hour you are still in this compound with this your miserable daughter, two of you will use this earth for your cover today. I assure you this and don't say I did not warn you. Mbo, mm -hmm. I promise. That is how I ran to my father's place, even though my father died a long time ago. Gods of our land, I wish my father Ezeocho was alive. This wouldn't have happened. I am my king's man went to Umuluchi town to know why they take such an action without consulting me or even the king. They asked us to go back, that they will look into the matter, and that ends it to date. My sister, wipe your tears. I'm here for you, and I believe the gods Never seen him. They know more than we do.
that was at the Toria, a way here. Maybe you can do a penny later. Are you from this kingdom? Yes, I am. What is your family's name? Ezeigwe is my uncle, the son of Ezeuche of Obagu village. Okay. I will follow you to your family. No, you can't. It's not right for strangers to follow a maiden to our home, so you can't. Can I go now? Mm. Yes, you might leave. My prince. My prince. My prince. <laughs> hey, well, uh, I think since she has mentioned her family's name, the best thing to do now is to make arrangements so that we can go and see her people. But remember, you must marry her. Don't forget the tradition. Your tradition states that a king must not marry outside your kingdom. Yes, you're right. That's what my tradition says. But I think this maiden has some God and respect. I've already fallen in love with her. You know, at the first sight. Um, I can't let this beauty grow wings and fly away from my bare palms. Hmm. If that be the case, my prince, I will make more inquiries about the family. Because I can see that uh, <laughs> we are already in love. <laughs> that would be very nice. That would be very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, due to chance, I don't know when next I will be seeing you. <laughs> you sent for me? Yes, my prince. I have made my inquiries. She is from Umulichi town. My town? Yes, my prince. Then how come she lives here? Her mother is from Nsuku village. Her name is Mbweke. She was married to one Akokaria, the great farmer. <laughs> I've heard about that one. He was the richest man in my town. He died without a son. As the story was told. Then, let's go and see her. Mm. Yes. It's okay. That would be nice. Let's go. Let's go. Lead the way. We came for the purpose of something big and beautiful. We saw that running to your company. Please, to ask if you can help us look for it. My children, you are welcome. Does that thing have a name? 
Yes. Her name is Ugoma, which means Eagle's Beauty. My children, where did you come from? I am a native of this land. I'm from Umolichi. Which of you is interested in the team that ran into my house? I am the one. Mother, I'm sorry if I offended you by the words we use. Please bear with us. Let me explain why we are here. I am interested in your daughter. I understood completely. I'm an Igbo woman, but I said no. People of Umuruchi dealt with me. I married the late Akokalia of Umuruchi and was treated badly after his death. Gross injustice was meted to me and my daughter. They did not give me a fair trial. All my husband's property were taken over by my husband's brother. There's a native doctor. Please go for now. Uma is my daughter. She's not for Umuluchi Kingdom. Greetings, Mama. Greetings, Your Highness. She is a maiden for marriage. I understand the pains in your heart. I cannot bring an evil man to marry your daughter. Maybe all can still be amended. Mother, I am sorry for what you went through in the hand of your people. But soon, it will be fixed. We have to take our leave now, but we will back tomorrow. My sister, we shall take our leave now, but expect us back. Until I see her, <laughs> I'm glad finally she has seen you. And hmm. you know, I don't, I don't even know what to say. But your mom is such a beautiful woman, <laughs> and she has a nice heart too. So. Yes. yes. If you must know, I was after you because of that same good heart. <laughs> oh, you think if that have a good heart, I would be after you. <laughs> Very, very beautiful. And I'm proud to have you. I'm proud to have you. Thank you. <laughs> Where am I? Who is here? Oh, yeah? Ah, Mazudin. Ah, Matthias. Greetings. You are welcome to my house. This one, you are in my house. I hope all is well. <laughs> yes, indeed, all is well. All is well. I actually came to show you my wife. Oh, my daughter, you're welcome. Thank you, Nai. Ah, the, the, queen, the queen of our town, you're welcome. <laughs> so, what? Who is she? Your, your, your wife? Yes. Is she from this town? Uh, speak to speak. My name is Ugoma. Mm. And I am the daughter of the late great farmer, Akokalia huh? of Omolichi town. Ugoma. Akokalia. Is she the mother? Yes. That is my mother-in-law. The queen's mother. Mbeke. Huh? Well, I heard how you chased them away from this land and took over all their properties. 
Now, in less than four market days, my mother-in-law will return back to her house to take over all her belongings. So whatsoever thing you took from them, return it. Make sure you do that before I pour my wrath on you. I, I wish I would have murdered them. Hi. And see what is happening. I've carried out research in this land, and the public have their witnesses against you. And since you did not give this woman and her daughter justice because of your evil influence on my father, the king, and the chiefs, you influenced them to carry out your evil intentions on your late brother's family by chasing this woman and her daughter away from this land like a piece of food. You children, sir. Why? Why are you like this? Hmm. <laughs>